Oh, hello. Um, I am your mild-mannered youth pastor, Pastor Aaron Strange. It is so wonderful to see you. I'm here just reading some scripture, and it's very interesting what I'm reading. I'm reading about Jesus and some of the amazing things he did at the very beginning of his life here on earth. And I'm reading Matthew chapter 4, and it's, it's very interesting what I'm reading. As a, as a matter of fact, let me read some to you. Uh, it talks about Jesus being tempted in the wilderness. After Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, he goes off into the desert. And this is what it says in, in, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Ooh. I bet he was. I'd be. I'd be pretty hungry too. I'm. I'm hungry if I miss a meal. If I. If I don't have lunch, I get grumpy. Uh, so forty days and forty nights. That's. That's. That's a lot. A lot of time not to have food. The tempter came to him and said, "If you're the son of God, tell these stones to become bread." Well, golly, I. Ooh, if it was me, I'd do it. Um, you know, if I was hungry and I had the ability to turn. Uh, stones and rocks and and the bread or you know maybe pizza because I like pizza, I, I might do it. <laughs> Boy, I I bet he did it. I I I bet he did it. Ooh, and... Hmm. My dad's senses are tingling. Something's wrong. There's evil afoot. Time to be super dad. Super dad. All right. Let me look on the super dad computer and see what's going on. Hmm. I know I have a feeling that something's happening, but what? Hmm. Better type in my formula. The news doesn't show anything. Everybody seems to be doing well. Wait a minute. Hmm. That's interesting. People are doing what they want. Hmm. That's not right. Hmm. I gotta do something. I gotta figure out what's going on. Why are people acting so strange? Because they want to. You guys hear voices? I could have sworn I heard something. I gotta figure this out. Oh, you don't need to find out what's going on. Come on, why don't you go relax? You can sit in your favorite chair, watching your favorite TV shows with chips. Oh. I mean, I do, I do like those stooges. And I mean, we do have a police department, so you know, maybe, maybe I am not needed today. Hmm. Yeah, maybe the police can handle this one. I am pretty tired. And I'm sure whatever's going on is fine. I mean, everybody's happy. I don't see anybody doing really naughty things. Okay, maybe there's some naughty things, but I mean, the police can handle it. You know what? I think I'm going to relax today. I think I'm going to let somebody else take care of it. I'm going to go watch my show. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'll let the police take care of it. I think it's time this town got a new class of criminal. I'm sick and tired of failures of evil and naughtiness. It's time someone put Super Dad in his place. And I'm the one to do it. The horrible, evil, sinister Spud. <laughs> this is getting weird. Man, I... 
I'll tell you what, something weird is happening. I was about to bust into action yesterday, and I was relaxing instead, and I don't know why. That's such a weird thing. I usually would run to find out what the problem is. Not today. Today I'm going to figure out what's going on here. Use my computer here. Oh, don't do that. It's that voice again. You had such a relaxing day yesterday. Go back to your chair. Relax. Everything will take care of itself. Well... I mean, yesterday I was pretty relaxed. I did enjoy sitting in my chair. There, you see? Go back to your chair. You know, maybe... I mean, two days in a row. You know, I... I don't think I'm needed. I don't think I need to do anything. Yeah. I don't know why I was worrying about it, you know? I... It... I mean, I was worrying about something happening yesterday, and, and I mean, nothing really bad yesterday. I mean, this this new villain, whoever he is, he... He, he what, robbed a bank? I mean... Nobody got hurt, really, right? It's not a big deal. I'll let the police handle it. I, I, I'm gonna... I'll let them handle it today, too. They'll, they'll figure it out. They, we have... Oh, they'll figure it out. They can do it. I'm gonna go relax again. I'm gonna go relax. You know? Why not? I'm gonna go relax. I'm gonna go watch some TV. Mm, I'm gonna go watch TV. <clears throat>
relaxing. Why do it always have to be my fault? Why do I have to do everything? Oh, Wonder Kid doesn't know what he's talking about. The news don't know what they're talking about. I mean, even even that Jesus guy, 40 days and 40 nights, I, you know, I'll prove to you that I'm not being selfish. I bet he turned those stones into bread. He was hungry. Let's see what it says. Yeah, if you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Yeah, I, and I bet he did it. And Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. But he would have been so hungry. And he didn't do it. He didn't eat anything for 40 days and 40 nights, and he still didn't do it? Oh, wait a minute, it's not over. The, the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it's written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so you will not strike your foot against a stone. See, and, and I bet everybody would have seen him do it and thought he was amazing, and I bet he did that. And I mean, Satan... The devil even used the Bible. That's what the Bible says. And Jesus answered, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Huh. But wait a minute. Didn't the devil just use the Bible? Maybe the devil used the Bible the wrong way. Maybe Jesus was using it the right way. Okay, but it's not over yet. It says here, Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their splendor. All this I'll give to you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Man. I bet he did that one. The whole world, all the kingdoms, all the splendor following him. I bet Jesus did that one. Yeah, see, it says here, away from, away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. He gave up everything. Why would he do that? He gave up all the world watching him and, and worshiping him and loving him. He gave that all up. It doesn't make sense. Or does it? Every temptation Jesus went through, he used the Bible. He used the Bible to do what was right. Instead of what was easy. Instead of what we might want to do, the naughty things we might want to do. Hmm. Maybe Wonder Kid is right. I've been lazy. I am super lazy. I'm not super dead. Hmm. I'm letting a lot of people down. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to make things right? Jesus kept going. He kept preaching. He kept serving. He kept doing the right thing. I need to do what is right. I need to clean up my act. I need to go after the supervillain. I need to make justice happen. I'm tired of being sloppy. I'm tired of being lazy. It's time for me to be super dead again. The fiend! He will pay. But what if he tempts me again? I'll use the word of God. After him! Ah. <laughs> Look at all this money. And it's all mine. 
No super dad to deal with. The cops aren't a match for me in my brain control hat. I have everything I've always wanted. Power, money, and no one to stop me. <laughs> Well done, Sinister Spud. I'll admit, your gimmicks were really tempting. But no more! I learned that I could overcome temptation! And even your hat can't stop me! It's time for some real deep fried justice. Why, Super Dad! So good of you to join me! <laughs> But really, do you honestly think you're a match for me? Do you really think that you have what it takes to stop me? I'll let you in a little secret. You don't! <laughs> super dad, more like super dork! I'll tell you what you can do, though. Instead of fighting me, why don't you go relax? Go watch your shows, go eat your chips, just let me be. Taking me on is such hard work. You don't want to do that, do you? Oh no. That's not working again this time. If Jesus can overcome using the word of God, so can I. It says in James, faith without deeds is dead. And let me tell you something. I have faith. And I have the deeds to back it up. And I'm sick and tired. I'm not falling for temptation anymore. Now, it's time to take you down. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> what do you mean you don't think? Oh. What are you doing? Can't move arms. Ugh. How are you doing this? Ugh. No, no. What are you doing? Ah, that's nasty. Stop it. Stop it. That's gross! No! No! Ah! You, that's nasty! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, what's wrong, Super Dad? Can't fight my mind control, can you? <laughs> this is what you get. No matter what you do, I can control you with my mind control. I am stronger than you. I am better than you. You cannot win. Now, prepare to be destroyed. Ha 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 ha! Ah! Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Ugh! Uh. Your mind control won't work anymore. Your mind control can't stop me anymore. You forgot one major thing when you started controlling Super Dad. You forgot that I have a fatherly instinct to do what is right. And I have the instinct to do the will of my father. And the will of my father is to take you down! Yeah! What are you doing? You can't do this! Oh yeah? Watch me. I! My arm! Ah! <laughs> Yeah. Nah. Nah. Where's your silly eyebrows now? See, put your ear there, and your hand up there. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Yeah, and your mouth there, and your other ear here, and your mustache nose there. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put all of you back together again. You're done, Sinister Spud. You say potato, but I say justice. Officer Chip, thank you very much for coming and taking away Sinister Spud. I'll be hanging on to this.
he talks a little too much, and sometimes I think his mind control will get a little too heavy. A lot of the powers found in his hat, I've dysfunctioned it, so it will not work. Take him in. My job here is done. That was a tough one. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for reminding me what I need to do. You and Wonder Kid, I don't know how I would have done this one without you. Wait a minute. I got that feeling again. We just arrested Sinister Spud. Hmm. I better find out what's going on. I'll look on my super phone here real quick. <gasps> Sinister Spud escaped. But how? It says instead of arresting Sinister Spud, they arrested a potato with his attachments on him. Here's a picture. Mm. That fiend. That means his reign of tempting is not over. Oh well. We mashed his plans before. And we'll mash him again. My work here is done. Super dad away! Hi. Um, it is me, Pastor Aaron, your mild-mannered youth pastor. Whew, I was, uh talking with super dad and let me tell you what we we had words i told him not to be <laughs> so lazy <laughs> and he learned his lesson though he, he learned to do what is right and he also learned that the bible is where we find what is right to do so remember that remember we need to look in our bible uh, to know how to live our lives in a good right way speaking of which last week's challenge we had a challenge where you were supposed to put up a piece of scripture. I believe it was Psalm 56, 3. And every person who competed in the Instagram contest is going to get a letter in the mail for a free ice cream cone at the Scoop Ice Cream Place. It's very exciting. And we are going to have another contest in case you missed it. We're going to have another chance for you guys to win another certificate for a free small ice cream cone. And this is the verse that you need to make sure that you use in some way. So, you can make a new sign, you could draw a picture, you could paint, you could color it on the sidewalk, whatever creative way you can put this. You need to put Matthew 4, verse 10, the second part. You need to put, worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. And that's what we find in Scripture. We need to worship God and serve Him only. So... We're going to listen to Becca tell us all the details on how to enter this contest like we always do. And we'll see you next time. If you want to be entered into this week's contest drawing and be eligible to win cool prizes like these, all you need to do is go to Instagram and send us a picture of your entry in a direct message by Thursday of this week. You can find us on Instagram at NHWC Kids Contest. Well, that's all for today, but we will see you next time.